G'day everyone, uh, Nick Bowditch here. Uh, it's a cloudy, yucky day where I am at the moment and I've got a wicked head cold, so I hope uh, it still sounds okay on here. What I thought I might do today is just go through a few questions that have come in since I've announced uh, that I've finished and published the book and uh, hopefully they might answer your questions as well if, if you have the same sort of questions and I'll answer some on here if it has any in real time as well. So the first question is the most obvious one. What's the book about? So the book is about my story, really. The story of um, how I live every day with uh, mental illness, or a couple of mental illnesses, with um, depression and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder in particular, and, and how I kind of form and change and coach my thinking into not spiraling downward into, into that depression or into, into being pretty much useless um, for days and sometimes weeks because of it. Um, the very first chapter is very full on. It's um, about the story of, of my trauma, which led to my post-traumatic stress. Uh, there's a trigger warning at the start of the book for anyone who's gone through a similar sort of trauma in, in case it triggers you or, or makes you feel, um, brings up feelings that you don't necessarily want to have. And you know it's a full on book when there's a trigger warning at the first page. But once you get through that, then we launch into a 28 day sort of programmatic guide about how to think each day, how I think each day, how I sort of give myself a theme each day to be to concentrate my mindful thinking on for that day. Um, and that's the only way I can, I've, I've found that has really centered my thoughts and really grounds me and, and says, okay, today we're thinking about shame. Today we're thinking about guilt. Today we're thinking about fun or resilience, or teamwork, or whatever it might be for that day. And the book is basically a 28-day guide through that. So that's what Reboot Your Thinking is about. Um, I'm really, really proud of it, as I've said before, on here and, and, and off here as well. Um, it's taken a long sort of road to get to being able to tell that story out in public and, and at scale, as I'm doing now. Um, but I'm really proud of it. So... That's what it's about. The next question is, how long did it take to write and, and was it hard to write? Well, I'm one of the very fortunate people on earth that writing comes fairly easily to me. So the, the actual writing part of it wasn't very difficult. The first chapter and, and talking about my trauma was quite difficult and, um, and took you know quite a few revisions and edits to be able to get to print. But um, yeah, it, it took about four months, I guess, from start to finish. To, to write and edit and have published so relatively quick. Um, and, and, and as I said, you know, it's, it is a lot of my heart and a lot of my um, being is in this book. So it's, it's not just like something you just, you know, nat down and push out. It was, it's far more thoughtful and considered than that. So it's taken a bit longer than it, than it, than it perhaps could have. It's not a blog post, it's a book. So. Um, the next question is a really good one. Someone's asked me, am I a professional therapist? <laughs> you know, if you're out there writing these self-help books, which I've had to publish it in that category on Amazon, um, it's important that I have some professional training. And that would be true if this, if this book was a textbook, if it was a guide for everyone they must live by. But I have chosen in writing this book to make it very, very much about me, about my story. Uh, the whole book is written in as much as I can be in the I, speaking about my own journey and what my thoughts do and how I feel about things and how I change my own thinking. So the answer to the question is no, I'm not a professional therapist, but I am an absolute expert in my story. Nobody is a bigger expert in my story than me. So. Uh, that's that's where the book comes from. There's no shoulds and musts. It's not a guide for you to live by or any of that sort of crap. It's it's just my story, and and so I don't need any kind of training, and you don't need to be worrying about whether you're going to get you know some guru telling you something to live by forever because that's not the way the book is written, um, and it's really just all about my thinking and my thoughts and and how I sort of try really hard not to focus too much on. All the other stuff around me, I just try to keep my thoughts and concentration mindful and present and, and with a particular theme on each day.
Um, the question is next is uh, who's stocking it? How can you buy it? How can you get your hands on it? Uh, so I'm very, very grateful that some very big name um, book stocking platforms have uh, have seen value in this book enough to list it for me and are promoting it, which is which is wonderful. And I'm really, really stoked about that. Um, the paperback version you can buy on Amazon. If you go to any of these platforms and you just search Reboot Your Thinking, you'll, you'll find it there. Um, so the paperback version you can buy on Amazon, you can buy it on Barnes & Noble on, the, on their website, which is a big... Um, US and global bookstore uh, bookseller as well as Amazon. Booktopia uh, here in Australia have, have stocked it and also Fishpond, fishpond.com.au are stocking it. And offline, if you head into Bookface, which is a, a set of bookstores, uh, sorry, chain of bookstores in Australia, they're the first store that's come on board um, purchasing it. So that's really great. And I'm really grateful to them as well. Um, and yeah, and, and if, you, if you have a favorite bookstore, you can always go in there and ask them to order it in because it's it's, uh, it's able to be bought from anywhere now. So the ebook version, if you're an ebook person, um, you can buy it on uh, as a Kindle from Amazon. There's a Kindle version on Amazon. You can buy it on Kobo if you're a Kobo guy, or you can buy it on Scribed as well. So if you go to any of those platforms and just search Reboot, you're thinking you'll you'll find it there. Um, my publisher who is uh, Michael Hanrahan Publishing from Melbourne, Australia, has done a really, really good job of not only the layout and the edit and, and putting the book together for me, which I'm eternally grateful for, but also being a really good representative for me in these uh, distribution channels and being able to get these my book out to, to the world. So I'm really grateful for that. Next question is one I've been asked about 200 times. Is there an audio book version? No, but there is one coming, I'll be um, self-narrating the audiobook version and it should be out in about a month's time. So um, if, you are, if you are not a book person but you're a listener, then, uh, then yeah, I'm very happy to say that in about a month's time, there'll be an audiobook version of Reboot You Thinking 28 Days to Think Different to Be Better. Um, and I'm really looking forward to actually going through the book and narrating it um, myself, doing the audio for it myself. The last question I have today that I have is, what is a reboot circle? I've been, I've been pushing out um, some content around creating a reboot circle. Basically, what I when, when I've run this 28-day program before on Facebook with different groups, there's been a lot of benefit and, and a lot of people put it back to me, the benefit of going through the 28 days with other people, uh, like a book club, but, but with uh, uh, dedicating four weeks to be able to change how, how you're thinking you're being able to focus on different things for four weeks or 28 days um, with other people. So what, I've, what I'm putting together is, is resources around how you would create your own reboot circle, which is basically just a group of people like yourself, like-minded people who are going through the book at the same time as you. It's really good in that way because you can do it online, you can do it offline, you can meet every week or once a month or whatever it might be or just email each other or, or use Facebook Messenger to do that, um, to be able to go through and each day focus on the same thing as four or five or 10 or however many people in your reboot circle, focus on those things at the same time each day. And we found that the people who are going through the book and doing it that way are getting much more benefit from it because they're even more mindful and they're concentrated even more because other people are also giving their opinions on these things. Um, and, and saying how they're doing with the process as well. So that's what a Reboot Circle is. I've got some big news coming up um, about Reboot Circles and a, a big prize to win in the next uh, week or so. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so that's all the questions. This are frequently asked questions at this stage for the book. I really, really want to thank a few people. Michael, Michael Hanrahan from Michael Hanrahan Publishing, who's, who's just done a fantastic job of the layout and putting it all the book together, printing it for me, um, distributing it and everything. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful to Michael and his team. Charlotte Duff, who was the editor on the book, has done an amazing job and, and really understood me and got me. He didn't try and change my language at all, but just tried to make the book um, much, much better, which she has done. And I'm very grateful to her for that. And for everybody who has so far supported me, either, either through getting the book and reading it or, or just through nice comments and uh, encouragement, which has been great, um, it's very, very kind of daunting to come out, not only to create a book about yourself and the way you think and your mental illness, but also then to kind of disclose um, some trauma that I went through 30 years ago and have sort of paid for ever since. 
to be disclosing that at scale is is pretty full on. And um, I'm very grateful for everyone who's been kind to me about that and shown me kindness and empathy around that. Um, that's something which I'll never forget. So if you would like your hands on the book, please do so by going to uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Booktobia, Fishpond, um, Kobo, Scribed, or into Bookface stores in Australia and pick one up. Or if you get, if you have a favorite bookstore of your own, please go in there and ask them to, to order it in for you. Um, I would be really, really, really grateful for that. And I hope you have a really great day. If there's any questions at all, please submit them below and I'll, I'll watch this through the day and get back to you um, as soon as I can. Thanks very much again for your support and for everyone's kindness. And I hope you have a great Monday wherever you are in the world. See ya.